Hi, I'm Steven, Developer Advocate for Event Store. In this video, you will gain a high-level understanding of what event sourcing is and what it's good for. You will also get a glimpse of what event sourcing is as an application pattern and as a design approach. So without further ado, let's get started. Event sourcing is a groundbreaking application pattern that embraces historical events rather than current state as the source of truth. Events form a complete digital ledger of all business activities, ensuring unparalleled data insight and operational flexibility. Event sourcing has inspired a paradigm shift in business application development, leading to numerous innovative tools and techniques, including databases, application patterns, frameworks, and design approaches. Collectively, these tools and techniques can unlock multidimensional and customized insights offering root cause analytics, and provide time travel capabilities for developers and businesses. They can also transform monoliths into scalable and loosely coupled systems, which enable responsive and adaptable processes. Event sourcing is a game changer across all industries, from finance to healthcare. It proves invaluable in regulated and audited sectors that require strict compliance and excels in environments with core business operations that are vulnerable and prone to disruptions. Additionally, it works well in fields that require reliable data analytics aggregated from vast data sources across various time periods. Event sourcing also fits modern software architecture perfectly. It provides an ideal foundation for event-driven architecture by offering great support for eventual data consistency which event-driven architecture's reactive and dynamic nature requires. Additionally, it integrates well with microservice architecture by maintaining a shared event history that helps microservices communicate with each other and breaks down their dependencies. At its core, event sourcing is a very simple application pattern. Traditionally, an application performs change by updating its database tables that represent only the current state. Think about this in the context of updating a spreadsheet. When you save an updated spreadsheet, only the most up-to-date current state of that spreadsheet is saved to a file. The past versions of the spreadsheet is overwritten, and so are the previous versions before. On the other hand, Event sourcing turns this completely inside out as applications perform change by storing the change itself. Using the spreadsheet example, when a spreadsheet is changed, event sourcing would save the change to the database. And as more changes are made, every single update, format change, row, addition, deletion, everything is saved to this database. The application changes stored in this log are known as events and the database itself is known as the event store. Event store is considered the source of truth since all events are stored in it. Thus, even if the file for the current state is accidentally deleted, it can be reconstructed by replaying all the events from the beginning, one by one, to the end. Event sourcing also enables time traveling in our application to pass dates by replaying events from the beginning to any unique point in time. This ability to view data and its context at any point in time amplifies your business insights. For decades, the traditional design approach for business applications has centered on maintaining and updating the current state, its data, and its values. This is a simple approach and familiar to many developers. In contrast, the event sourcing design approach focuses on historical events, effectively capturing business actions. Event sourcing's emphasis on past event behaviors and functions starkly contrasts the traditional focus on current state data and value. With the current state approach, since it does not retain previous states, it is often challenging to comprehend the past. 
This results in a straightforward but one-dimensional perspective that fails to explain how and why you arrived at the current state of your data and the business intentions behind it. On the other hand, since event sourcing leverages past events in its modeling, it helps uncover causal relationships, cascading events, and root causes with greater clarity than the current state approach. This method offers a richer and multidimensional perspective on data, leading to enhanced insights. Additionally, the current state approach commonly leads developers to design applications that enforce immediate synchronization. To achieve this, most data and behaviors are often centralized, which poses little issue in simple systems. However, as the system's responsibilities expand, this often results in tightly coupled components. Conversely, the event sourcing approach reliably stores all events, reducing the pressure on applications to synchronize immediately. This approach supports eventual and synchronous operations that are completed at a later date at a more convenient time. As a result, components can be less centralized, more distributed, and loosely coupled. The onset of event sourcing has led to design approaches such as event storming and event modeling. These are important design approaches you should be aware of, and in future training, we will cover these topics in more detail. In this video, you are introduced to event sourcing, a groundbreaking application pattern that embraces historical events as a source of truth rather than your data's current state. This shift in perspective has inspired innovative tools and techniques that unlock rich, multifaceted insights and transforms monoliths into loosely coupled systems. Event sourcing is a game changer across all industries and perfectly fits most modern software architectures, such as event-driven and microservice architecture. You have learned what event sourcing is like as an application pattern. Event sourcing performs change by storing the change itself. And since all changes are stored, the current and previous states can be reconstructed at any time. Time traveling can also be done by replaying events from the beginning to a unique point in time. Finally, you have explored what event sourcing is like as a design approach. Event sourcing design approaches focus on historical events and behaviors, which help to uncover causal relationships, cascading effects, and root causes. It also leads to more loosely coupled components, since storing events allows operations to be handled asynchronously and eventually. This ends this video. Hope you've got a glimpse of what event sourcing is like on a conceptual level. If you like what you're seeing, please check out other videos in this series as well. Enjoy!